Well, it's time to get back to routines, but it also can be a time for them to rethink their goals for a new year and parents can do the same thing. Maybe you can come up with a new goal and redefine successes. Here to explain is executive coach Alexia Zagoras. Good to see you, Alexia. Good morning. So yeah, this is kind of a, a time for us to maybe find a new interest or reassess an old one. Uh, I was reading in your blog that pain and dreams often kind of do the same thing. They can make us change, Correct. right? Yeah. So, you know, why should kids have all the fun? We force kids <laughs> to go back to school every year, right? As adults, we don't force ourselves to change. We either change because the pain is so great that we have to change. Somebody's forcing that on us or we have a dream and we have to get up and really generate it within ourselves the desire to change. Don't you think too, sometimes it's harder for adults to be brave enough to go after that dream? It, 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 it was easier when we were younger. Totally. Right? So how do, yes. you, how do you build up what it takes to do that? I believe you practice. Mm -hmm. You start with something and you just do something. If you do a little bit every day, then you'll eventually get there. Um, have you ever heard of Mel Robbins? She has the five second rule. Yeah. Just do it. Just start. Um, write things down. I am a firm believer in writing things down. Write your vision down. Write some, a dream or something that you've been putting off for a long time. Um, you right. actually have a series of steps that people can take right. if they have. So yeah. identify that maybe mm -hmm. one or two things and then start by writing it down. D should you write about it or just write the thing down? Write in present tense uh -huh. how you want to feel as you're living this dream out, whether it's swimming the English Channel or <laughs> <laughs> the Ohio River yeah. or um, anything, you know, whatever that physical dream or a, just some a book. Everyone has a book that they want to write. Well, then expand it by writing two or three things you can do. about that you can do, right? right? There are things that you can do actively, whether it's just pick up a book and research how to write a book or ways to get involved in whatever it is you want to do. The internet's full of ideas. There's no excuse, really. We have information at our fingertips. Um, you also have to write down and identify your obstacles, right? right? <laughs> What's going to get in the way? Uh huh. Is it the donuts at work? Is it your whatever you want to sleep? Time. Lots of yeah, times sleeping it's time. in. <laughs> right. Right. So there are lots of ways that we can avoid doing the things that we want to well, do. Well, so once we realize what those obstacles are, that can almost become a goal trying to get around it. So, right. so how do you deal with those obstacles? You make a plan. Mm -hmm. You stick to your plan. You just do what you say you're going to do. A lot of times you find an accountability partner who can help you stay on that path, um, whether it's a workout buddy or somebody, a group that you can join that all have the similar interests. Yeah. And then how often should you check in with yourself and sort of do an assessment on, am I staying on track or maybe I need to get back on track? I think every two weeks is good. Go back, review your goals, see what things that have come up that have kept you from doing it. Mm -hmm. Keep a calendar um, and just, I call it rinse and repeat. Just keep doing it and doing it and do it. And, You'll wake up a year later and you'll say, oh my gosh, I am so much closer to where I want to be. And, um, and you've done it on your own rather yeah. than somebody forcing you to do it. What if you feel like you do need some help with it though? Well, there are so many resources out there. Obviously coaching is awesome because mm -hmm. it keeps you on track. And, and when you have somebody who you're going to meet with, it's like a deadline, right? right. So you've, you're creating, you're self-imposing a deadline. Um, like I said, accountability partners, um, keeping a journal, going back and reflecting, mm. having goals on a sheet. There's so many ways. Um, I, I did create the blog for people to go and um, find resources that they need. Yeah. To do I think it's a change. good it's a good jumping off point reading the blog. Mm -hmm. Alexia Zagoras, thank you so much. Thanks for having we'll me. We'll put a link on local12.com. Now here's Tara, still gloomy out there.